Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Experiences. Today we're going to be talking about different examples of tracks and what traps to use when you catch these critters. Our first set of tracks today is going to be those of the raccoon. When looking at potential raccoon tracks, you should be able to identify a couple of these unique features. First, a raccoon's tracks look similar to a handprint. Their little paws are going to show five toe-like fingers. The paw size will be anywhere between two and three inches across. Next will be the placement of the tracks. Raccoon tracks will have a gait of about 10 to 18 inches from the front to the back. Lastly, the front paws are going to have longer toes than the back will. This makes it easier for them to grab a hold of food as well as climb various surfaces. For traps, use a 1.5 coil trap and a dirt hole set is commonly used or a dog proof trap which is the fastest way to set for raccoons. The next set of tracks that we're going to look at are those of the mink. Mink tracks are not very large, only about 2 centimeters across. Due to the shape of their pot pad, mink tracks look very teardrop shaped of the impression of the front of the toes. In addition to the shape, the mink only have five toe pads, so be sure to take the amount of impressions you see of each track. These tracks can be easily confused with that of an otter or squirrel because of the impression size. Squirrels are a little bit different in the sense that the toes are more elongated than the minks. Mink are commonly trapped using pocket sets with smaller coil or long spring traps and or conibear traps. As always guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. As always, check out our merch shop down below the video. Now back to the video. Next up on the list is the red fox. First and foremost, we're going to be looking to make sure that we can see the four toes in the triangular shape. Next big giveaway is going to be the claw marking at the top of each toe. Keep in mind that the gray fox can retract its claws so you may not always be able to see the nail print. Red fox footprints generally measure 1.75 to 2.5 inches long and 1.5 to 2 inches wide. Finally, we're going to look at the gait of the tracks. The fox will walk in a fairly straight pattern. The tracks, given the situation, may look as if the one paw pad is directly in front of the other. Traps for foxes are typically the number 1.5 to 2 coil spring traps and dirt hole or scent pole sets. Of course, this video wouldn't be right if we didn't add beaver into the mix. The front paws are going to look similar to those of the raccoon in the sense that they look more hand-like than anything else. The hind footprint, however, is going to be about double the size and webbed. You can expect to see the front foot sizing of somewhere to 2 to 4 inches long and roughly 2 to 3 inches wide. The back web foot again is going to be larger, coming in from 5 to 7 inches long and 3 to 5 inches wide. Beaver trackers are going to place the front foot more up and centered in front of those bigger rear feet. The gait is not going to be as large due to the way the beaver's body is more hunched when they're scurrying around. Traps like the 330 Conibear are used along with snares and large foothold traps like the TS-85. Be sure to check the regulations on all your traps in your state and know what is allowed and the seasons for each animal. Moving on to a bit better looking animal, the North American Bobcat. Sought after by many trappers and hunters, these big cats are typically local to snowy regions, swamplands, and forests. Bobcat tracks are very round including four toe pads at the top of the paw pad. Their paws are roughly one to three inches across based on age. There is no question that these cats have claws, but when it comes to the track, the claw print will be absent. Many beginner trappers confuse the tracks of a bobcat to tracks of the coyote or a dog. There's a handful of key differences to avoid this mix-up. First off, coyote nails will be present in the tracks, whereas we discussed a bobcat's will not. The track of a bobcat is more rounded, but the coyote is going to be longer and more oval shaped. Finally, the heel pad of the bobcat is going to take up the majority of the track, whereas the coyote's front toes are going to take up the majority in their tracks. Bobcats can be trapped generally with the number two coil spring trap, or some people use box setups with cotton bears placed inside. Last but not least, the coyote. We've covered some of the basics in the last sections, but let's go deeper. As mentioned, the coyote track is going to be more of an oval shape sizing and about 2.5 inches long by about 2 inches wide. 
we will be seeing four toe pads and smaller, less predominant heel pad. When these animals are walking, the gait is roughly 15 to 22 inches between the front and rear track. When trotting, a coyote tracks will appear more straight and narrow. Coyotes will be taken a lot with the number two and three coil spring trap, also snares and or cable restraints. Thank you for taking the time of joining us in today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, feel free to like and subscribe. We are always wanting to hear more from our viewers, so drop us a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.